never get shit like an elephant Go ahead and tell me Put it on the line and you'll come up empty If I got time, I'm deadly Never cut off five, no, I'm always ready I got a hand real steady Look me in the eye and you'll see no hezzy About to get real messy I'll put you in a grid six feet like Kenny Yeah, what's going on? My name is Deng Daniel Ayuan. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It has been a very long time without producing any new content. Uh, but today we have a very special guest, uh, a gentleman with extraordinary talent, a gentleman whose story will inspire most of you watching right now. Without much talking, I proudly present to you Mr. Omid. Uh, hi, sir. Welcome to this special episode. First of all, who is Omid? Okay, for sure. Uh, very nice having you here, Mr. Deng. Uh, I am Mirumid, like, uh, as everyone knows from DTU College. Just graduated a month ago from IT department. I'm also I'm from Afghanistan, so I have been like uh, the passion for football. It has been more than 14 years I am playing football. All right, thanks so much, Mr. Omid. Uh, well, I remember the first time I saw you was three to four years ago, uh, when you guys came from Kashmir, uh, and to be exact, uh, I it was a DTU sport complex that I I found you. Uh, and this is the main reason we are here today. Uh, when did this love for sports start? Yeah, the passion like uh, I got from the sport uh, football. Like it was like around, as I mentioned before, it's 14 years ago. Like I can remember uh, the year 2009 when I started watching football with my cousins, especially Lionel Messi, the time 2009 and the way he played and uh, I got inspired by him also. Then I even quickly at the same week, I started playing football with my cousins. They also had the same passion. They persuaded me that they should do. And I, from that time, I was just practicing till now. All right, that's impressive. Uh, how is it, was, was that decision? Uh, where, what, how did people perceive you, especially your family and friends? Like before uh, starting this game, I used to have some other athletes' uh, professions. And uh, after that, I left it. And uh, when I started playing football, it, at first it was quite challenging like controlling your balance and working out there. Football is a tough game that whenever you're playing with your opponent, especially when you're playing in a, an attack position, then you have to struggle, you have to go physically and you have to be tough against your defense. So first uh, two or three years, it was quite challenging. And the challenge that I was facing from football, that was that was the main thing that it attracted me to our football. And uh, my cousins, my family, every, everyone around, like they were just persuading me with no reasons, like cheerfully, like they were always persuading uh, all right uh, how's how easy is it for you to play with uh, players other players considering uh, the fact that you at most times uh, the only differently able player uh, do you find difficulty in that and how do you cope up with this uh, challenge the challenges I can feel like uh, whenever I'm playing with my own uh, I used to play uh, for uh, five years International Committee of Red Cross where we all played with the same scheme with the same Paralympics, we had the same schema and the same training we had. And except for that, I like there was quite three days training per uh, per week. So I had to play every day because my passion was not stopping for that. Then other days I had to play with the person who were like differently able, like for me, but we were like completely different. So for ch ch challenging for them was like it was for the people who were facing me for the first time. They were quite amazed, like how is he playing? the way I played and they were just shocking, they were just hugging me, even it was opponent or maybe my own team when it was new that they were just hugging, you're quite impressive, like the way you're playing, you're completely like, we cannot think like someone can play like this. These were the challenges I was facing like for the first time when the people see me playing. All right, uh, thank you so much. Uh, right now we are going to uh, be playing some of your clips that you uh, that you were scoring in, you were dribbling, uh, you were attacking other players. Uh, the first video we are going to play is the video uh, where you are dribbling. When was this and how do you feel about this one? This one is quite special for me. Like uh, I was wearing the Barcelona jersey and the one who was playing up on me and he is my friend from Afghanistan. And uh, he's quite quite from Real Madrid fan, and he's a really great fan of Real Madrid. And he was playing against me. This game I remember it was El Clasico between us. And also when I was playing 
against him i dribbled past him and i scored the goal it was very impressive like i was feeling like i am at the camp and i am dribbling my opponent especially real madrid and i am scoring against it was very very delightful actually actually i'm <laughs> so impressed with this kind of uh, skill uh, let's get back to another video wow wow that one like when was that this was like around 2 years ago when i was practicing with my colleagues and uh, my friends and uh, my training section i had my own and they were just joining me or was just my head my shooting training with my new goalkeeper that he joined my team and also pratham that who is from bangalore and he joined to train with me all the time that's it all right uh, let's get to another video Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro, how did you do this? <laughs> the skills, uh, Pratham, as I mentioned him before, he is a great and very tough defend player. So, uh, I said before, I love to play with tough players, especially this guy is very big. according to me whenever I was facing and I enjoyed dribbling him and I passed dribble him three times and then I scored. It was quite good. Nice, 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 nice. That's so lit. Um, let's talk about this. Uh, the video you recorded when you were still in Kabul. Uh, what was happening here? This session, it was especially invitation for me from Embassy of uh, British, we can say, in Kabul, like around uh, six, seven years ago. When they saw my football in the playground, one of the guy he was from British. He lived around. so he saw my video and saw also he got to know about me that this guy has been playing for like around 5 6 years so he reached to me and he reached my friends and also one of my colleague he was working in USAID so he got connection with him and he called me they gifted me like they really pursued it me too much especially they got my special video along with my friends they called even my friends my teams which i had in afghanistan we had a small training session then we had a football football like it was challenging also it was not like normal football the football we played at british uh, camp it was like uh, just two touches football and then i scored oh, <laughs> it was a lucky day for me i oh. scored two goals and i won that day 4-3 with my even my colleagues were there my team mates were there it was a special day and i'm really thankful for the embassy of british that they invited me on that day that's that's impressive bro that's impressive uh let's get back to this video Where you are juggling the ball, like myself, I can't even manage like uh, five, five of these. I can't do it. Like, how, how possible is that for you? It's really needed like uh, quite a bit time to do the juggling. So while you control the ball, you control yourself, especially when I'm standing on my two sticks and doing the only thing with, uh, with one foot. All the jugglings, it quite needs training. Like I've been training training for this for like I as far as I remember. for more than 6 years it has been for me the same task i have been doing consecutively to get to know with the juggling and right now i think i am good with it all right uh, there's there's a video you became uh, the best player of the tournament uh, uh, can you tell us about this video and uh, how many did you score in this video or what <laughs> drill happened it was a good tournament like uh, the graduation students it was like a tournament for us between first second third and fourth year as uh, i mentioned before i graduated a month ago Yo. so all the uh, graduated students we were all together a tournament football was there especially for those who are in love with football mm. so this was like uh, i knew it is the la- it's going to be my last tournament in dtu especially with the international students so i prepared well mentally physically everything i was prepared for and it was a 3 days match uh, the first year second year and third year and uh, successfully i can say uh, like uh, i scored in three matches especially against uh, second years that i wanted to win and i scored two goals that day and i assisted one for my teammate who was from afghanistan and that day when we won it was quite a special day when i scored two goals all the team players of third year and first year both of them all the players more than 20 25 students who were watching my football all of them started calling me the best player of the tournament wow, wow. <laughs> and the, the match uh, with the video which is here right now it is like uh, the end of the match when we won the tournament oh. and the, our team we scored uh, seven goals i scored four of them 
all of them uh, four of them four, four of them, them i scored four i assisted two right. that's why when i was like it was the end of the tournament everyone was just roaming around telling me like i was the best player of the tournament uh, that's impressive like uh, how supportive were your teammate like did they really support you the fourth year uh, students uh, i have been playing football in dtu for four years those those people those teammates they know me for four years like uh, they have been playing with me they know my style how i play how i score and how they were quite supportive with me like they knew everything how i play they supported me that they hoped me and they told me like you are the only one who could reach us to the top so i didn't la- let them lose i didn't let them down and i tried my best they were really supportive and they were trying me every half time they were telling me you are the only one who was going to score and you will let us in. That's that's so good, bro. To to gain that uh, trust from your uh, from your teammate. Now let's get back to this video. Uh, take us through what. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, after scoring this uh, this vid uh, this goal, like, how did you feel? This video, uh, I tried two three times. First time, the goalkeeper is also new, and uh, he was really challenging for me. He was saving all my shots, and then I told him to throw the ball toward me. and i was quite confident that i am going to score this time when i scored it was like good for me and then the keeper knew that who is he facing wow wow <laughs> that's impressive bro that's impressive bro uh let's get back to this video <laughs> wow <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> bro 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 i i can't believe it happened i can't believe it happened uh like can you take us through this yeah sure uh, i i will never forget about this video it was from 2020 first august when we had our first tournament like after lockdown oh after lockdown yeah after lockdown it was the first tournament we had uh, between only the country who was the available at the DTU it was Afghanistan from the Asia oh. so we took the responsibility to play and we had the three african section east north and also east the oh. three african uh, team and also one afghanistan team four of us and the uh, like i can say hopefully we won the tournament and uh, this section of the video like it was the third match i will not remember, like i will not forget all the matches i played over there because every tournament i play it's a special for me like uh, this time when i was playing with them Uh, at this moment it's the moment that we needed to win it was the second goal i got the ball from munna who was my senior he graduated from here from zambia yeah all right, all right. i took the ball from him in defense i knew that he is going to lose the ball and uh, i passed the keeper and i knew that i'm going to lose the ball then i assisted atik who is from afghanistan and he scored a very brilliant a free kick a free kick and a goal <laughs> yeah. and the distance hey. from the goal the distance is so far from Bro. 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 Bro, you scored this. You even, did. Even uh, it has been like 2 years of this video and I still watch this video 2 3 times per day that how did I score this goal? <laughs> bro, bro, this is this extraordinary, bro. And this shot was the first when I had the ball, I entered the ground, I shot the ball and it was inside the goal. It was the first touch of me when the ball. No training, nothing. I just entered the ground and I just scored this goal. That's impressive, bro. That's impressive. Uh th- there's there's a video you were controlling a ball here. Oh. Oh, bro. You control this? Yeah, it was quite high also. Oh, oh, oh. oh what was this? What was this? No, I'm saying. This video is like not long ago. I think it's 3 uh, to 4 months ago when I had training and the, my teammates they usually call me the best controller because I can see the ball I can position myself for the ball and I can control it well and this is one of just like simple videos I have taken from the controlling of the ball Whoa 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 bro that's that's impressive that's impressive There's a one free kick here It get in. <laughs> that was a goal? Yeah. I'm not intelligent cuz I don't forget shit like an elephant. Go ahead and tell me put it on the line and you'll come up empty. If I got time I'm deadly never